Kentucky's backwoods keep quite a few secrets. Secrets that, if you're lucky, will reveal themselves. But some, no matter how patient you are, stay hidden. There couldn't be very many of these. They're very rare. Barilla lurks in these woods, so the experts say. The last known sighting that I'm aware of occurred right here in 1989. The broad-shouldered beast has the body of a bear and a long pointed muzzle like a wolf, hands with dagger-like claws and canine teeth. It's been sighted all through this area of Kentucky, Wisconsin, Michigan, Canada, Pennsylvania. Dozens of reports. The first case in the 1940s, it's a young boy who claims to have been attacked on a creek bank by this creature. Reports that sent Ron Coffey into these woods searching. I do not discount that many eyewitnesses. Everybody's not imagining things and making it up. He's not found any bones or remains, but says he can prove Barilla exists with this. The stride was about five feet. It's a plaster cast of a footprint. Coffey says he found the tracks last winter, right here in Bath County and it matches the description of a Barilla's foot. Every single legend is based on some kind of fact. Things just, stories just don't materialize. Coffee may have been researching Barilla for more than two decades, but there's another person who's had his eyes on these woods for just as long, and he lives right across the street. I think somebody's trying to start a good hoax. <laughs> <laughs> That's my opinion. John Pugh says he has proof, too, that there's no Barilla. <laughs> his roosters, and his chickens that roam the yard and have never been attacked by a monster beast. At night time, it's always peaceful and quiet. You don't hear anything going on. And that's enough for Pew to know. No seven-foot wolf-like creature is lurking in the woods across the way. I'll believe it when I see it. But Coffee says it's only a matter of time until another clue surfaces. Another eyewitness comes forward, proving Barilla's exist. Covering Mystery Monday in Bath County, Courtney Fisher, LEX 18 News.